Welcome to one of our Alpha Laval 360 degree service and maintenance videos. With Alpha Laval service, you maximize the reliability and uptime of your equipment. The result is superior performance throughout the equipment life cycle. Performance that puts you ahead of competition. Here we will focus on how to conduct service and maintenance on standard Alpha Laval SRU rotary load pumps using our service kits with genuine spare parts. Remember, always read the instruction manual thoroughly to cover all maintenance steps, since this video only shows you some of the steps. To maintain the Alpha Laval SRU rotary load pump, these tools are required. Each Alpha Laval service kit contains all the spare parts you need. How to dismantle the SRU rotary load pump. First, remove cover nuts on the rotor case and then remove the rotor case. Next, remove the O-ring on the rotor case. Insert a soft tool between the two rotors to stop them from turning. Unscrew the rotor retention nuts and remove the O-rings. Then extract the rotors and remove the O-rings. Remove the safety guards and loosen the screws. Use a rubber mallet to extract the pump from the gearbox. Now extract the stationary sail rings and O-rings from the rotor case. Unscrew the grub screw on the rotating shaft seal and remove it from the shaft. Then remove the internal O-ring. How to remove the primary seals and fittings. After dismantling the pump and removing all product wetted seals, it's time to replace the seals. First, replace the O-ring on the rotor case. Remember to lubricate the new O-ring. Then replace the O-rings in the rotors. Lubricate the O-rings and fit them into the stationary seal ring. Then mount them. Lightly lubricate the O-rings and fit them onto the rotary seals.
Next, replace the O-rings in the rotating shaft seals. Mark the shaft to indicate the seal setting length, shown in the table in the instruction manual. Slide the rotary seal assembly onto the shaft until it is aligned with the mark indicating the seal setting length. Tighten the grub screws to the recommended torque as shown in the instruction manual. Refit the rotor case, rotors and rotor retention nut. Then tighten the rotor retention nuts to the recommended torque as shown in the instruction manual. Now fit the front cover back onto the case. Mount the safety guards. Be sure to check that the seal is functioning correctly at startup.